So feel yourself as you rest here, comfortably sitting into the support of your chair. Feel free to sit back into the backrest and allow your shoulders to rest and relax down the back. Position the hands in a way that feels comfortable, allowing the shoulders to rest, letting the hands also relax. And feel free to close your eyes and just take a few moments to center in to notice how you feel. Feel the points of contact your body makes with the chair, letting the weight of your thighs rest. Letting the weight of your hips relax. Become aware of your spine's length as it lifts taller up through the neck. Positioning the head in a way that finds length and softness up the length of your neck into the base of the skull. As your head balances above your shoulders, Feel the face relax, letting go of any excess tension there, softening your facial expression. And feel your eyes as they rest, softening the eyelids. Feel your eyebrows relax and the space between the eyebrows rest. Relax the hinge of your jaw, creating some space in the mouth, softening your cheeks. And as you sit here, continue to feel your body resting as you become more conscious of your breath. Be aware of the inhale as the breath comes in. And follow the exhale as the breath flows out. And try to let the breath continue to move without any sense of force or strain. And instead, simply feel it. Feel its natural pace. And feel its natural depth. Notice the areas of your body that are relaxed, that are soft, that move as you breathe. Notice the gentle rise and fall of your chest and feel the movement of your belly moving freely with each breath. Follow a few more cycles here. And as you keep your connection with your breath and with your body, tune in again to the space around you. Take in a couple of deeper breaths. ready to move, start by opening your eyes, and then you can sit a little closer to the front of your seat, and if you don't need any support under the feet anymore, you can take it away, and then rest your feet on the floor as you sit. All right, so let's start with the uh, palms together, and keeping the spine's length nice and tall, letting the head stay above the shoulders, neck relaxed. Let's move the arms a bit with the breath. We'll inhale the arms out, stretch up, looking up a little. With the exhale, bring the hands down through center. So as the arms move, feel the spine tall in the center. And let the movement find your own pace that's comfortable with the flow of your breath. And 
Let's go for one more. Feeling the inhale, sweeping out and up. Exhale, hands down together. And we'll reverse it, bring the palms together back up. And exhale, reach wide, sweeping the arms down. Noticing how it feels in the shoulders as you free them up a little with the breath. And as your arms move, can you keep the neck long and relax for one more full sweep? All right. And then let's stretch both arms straight out in front. And with the inhale now, let's involve the spine a little more with the arms. So as you open up the arms, we'll arch the back and look up comfortably. And then with the exhale, we can round the back a little hug in through the belly as you hug your hands around to the shoulders. Inhale wide, arching gently. Exhale, wrapping the opposite arm on top as you hug. Feel the breath in. And feel the breath out. Notice the movement of your spine and of your shoulders, slowly loosening up. One more time. And then as you breathe in, let's open up the arms out to the sides. And we'll keep the arms wide. And just feel the spine nice and tall. Notice whether you've sort of jutting your ribs forward and see if you can draw them in slightly towards the spine and find this movement just in the arms we're going to draw tiny circles with the fingertips so keeping the arms relatively straight so you can feel this movement from your shoulders that's it feel the breath as you're moving and then take the movement in the other direction Small, controlled movements. You might be able to feel the connection uh, the arms make into your shoulders, down the length of the arms. Nice. And then let the arms relax down by your sides and just give them a little shake. You might notice they feel a little longer, a little heavier. And then let's find a little more movement for the arms. We're going to take the arms out to the sides again, but this time let the elbows bend about 90 degrees. So here, really important to keep the head above the shoulders, keep the lower ribs drawn in, so you're minimizing any movement of your spine while you press back with your arms. That's it. And then press the arms as together as they can be in front of the chest. That's it. With the inhale, press back. With the exhale, press gently together. Finding that movement in your shoulders again. Each time you press back, try not to push the chest forward. Keeping the lower ribs from moving. Nice. And just finding your own comfortable range of motion as you keep it going. You might notice some of the muscles in and around the shoulder and into the backs of the shoulders. Start to engage. Good, let's go for two more. Nice and slow. So you're moving through a bit of resistance. Nice, and then let's hold this. Hold this with the hands gently pressing together and the elbows coming as close as they comfortably can. And then try to lift the elbows, maybe the tiniest bit more, without lifting the shoulders. Feel that for one last breath. Really nice, and then let it go. Whew and give it a little shake. Okay, so let's go ahead and shrug the shoulders up with the inhale. Hold for a moment, and then ha, let them go. So let's do that three more times. Breathing in, shrug, hold, ha. Breathing in, ha. Last one, in and hold, ha. So let's involve a little more movement uh, of the spine. And we'll do, we'll start with some, just some gentle side body movements. So let's take the arms out again to the sides and we'll keep it fairly flowing and fast, relatively. So let's start by going to the right first, letting that left arm sweep up and then sway all the way over to the left, letting the right arm sway up. 
and is feeling that flow of movement from side to side as you let the arms stay relatively loose from the shoulders down so the movement is initiated through your spine going up and over up and over Go for one more on each side with movement. And then we'll take it over to that first side and see if you can push down a little more into that left foot as you're stretching away from it. That's it. Feeling the space through that left side so you can breathe a little deeper into that space as we pause. Good, and then coming back up slowly to center and over to the other side, stretching up through the right side. Feel like the arm lifts from the hip rather than just from the shoulder. And then push down through that right foot as you find length and space. Up in the opposite direction, through the whole right side. Feel the breath come and feel the breath go. Good, and then coming back up to center, arms wide to the sides. Let's turn the palms to face back, finding a little rotation here in the shoulders, and then turn once again the palms to face up. So rotating at the shoulders, palms to face back, or even up a little bit, and then back open to the sky. And find that connection, not just in the uh, forearms and wrists, but all the way back into the shoulders, feeling them rotate. Nice. Good. Just finding your own comfortable range of motion, trying to force any rotation that is and wanting to happen. We'll go for one more of those. Good. And then this last time, as you rotate the palms, face them back towards the wall behind you as best you can, and then try to reach back and see if you can hold on to the back of your chair. You might have to inch a little bit further forward. You can hold on to the lower back of your chair or even your chair seat if you like, okay? So a nice little opening for the chest. So start by just finding the lower ribs, drawing in a little bit. Try not to lift the tailbone back too much. And then feel the shoulder blades. See if they can squeeze in a little closer together and push the chest a little higher. Rather than forward, think high, height of the chest. Nice. Try not to let the head fall all the way back. Try to feel and keep some length through the back of the neck here. And notice the breath moving nice and deeply into the front of the body. Good. And then slowly release that. And we're going to come forward actually. So let's actually lift the chest the tiniest bit and see if you can lean your upper body forward so the belly comes towards the thighs, the hands can come off the chair. And then you can either rest your forearms on your thighs, notice how it feels in your back here, or if you'd like to take it a little further, you can slide the hands down the legs to where it's comfortable for you, feeling a gentle stretch into your back. That's it, and just pause there, notice the breath's movements down into the backs of your ribs. Good, and then begin to push down through your feet. So you lift up nice and slowly back to sitting. Okay, all right. So let's come up, um, we'll come up through some squat movements. So walk your feet a little closer back towards your seat. And you can have your feet as much as shoulder distance apart, anywhere between hip and shoulder distance apart, okay? So start with the arms a little forward, just out in front of you at chest height or so. And so feel as you lean your upper body forward, try not to round your back and notice how your weight pours down into your feet. And then come back and feel the weight sitting into the sitting bones. So leaning forward, find the support in the legs, you might even slightly lift off of the chair as you go forward and then sitting back, feeling that strength in the legs. Let's see if we can hold this slight lift in chair pose off the chair, 
for another breath or two. Really nice. And then so you can lower back down with control, back to the chair, and one more time, forward, standing into your chair pose. Slight lift off the chair as you feel another breath. Now let's stand up, pushing the weight into the feet, coming up slowly, resting the arms. Okay, nice. All right. So move the um, chair to the end of your mat. Yeah, great. And we're going to do a little bit of movement for the legs uh, while we're standing on our feet. We're going to bend forward at the hips and bring the hands to the chair. So start it by just finding your feet right underneath your hips, about a foot or so away from the seat. And then with the hands on the hips here, right at the hip creases. So you can lift one knee and then the other and just feel where the hip bends, where the thigh meets the rest of your body. And that's where the hip joint sits. And we're going to try to move from that hip joint rather than moving through the spine. So finding the spine's length, shoulders above the hips, a little bend in the knees. So you're releasing any tension from the hamstrings. And then let's bend forward through those hips so that as you come forward, your spine stays long, wide through the chest, long through the waist, head stays in line with the shoulders. And then you can take your hands on the seat of the chair where you've got your hands right underneath the shoulders. So feel the strength and the support down through the arms as you try your best to keep your shoulders level and your chest wide towards the back of the chair. Let's start out by pouring the weight into the right hand and taking the left arm out to the side. We're going to keep it in the upper body first. So as the left arm stays out at shoulder height, let's sweep the arm back along the side. Palm faces up. And then turn the arm out to the side and sweep it forward, letting the palm turn in. So reaching the arm wide to the side and then straight back along your side, wide to the side and as forward as you can let it be without any discomfort in the neck and shoulder. So finding a bit of a half circle movement from your shoulder joint. Trying to move just this arm, everything else staying still, supported, stable, one last time, sweeping the arm wide and back. And then the next time the arm sweeps forward, you can hold it forward or you can even rest it on the back of your chair if you prefer. While we find balance here, let's lift the right leg back. So you can lift the right leg up to as high as hip height, trying your best to keep the pelvis level. Feel a sense of lift and width through your belly, through the lower ribs, and if you're able, feel free to lift that left hand off of the back of the chair. Pausing for a moment of balance, of stillness. Finding and feeling those little wobbles as you respond to the balance here. Breathing through it for one more cycle. Nice, and then rest. Hands to the seat, feet under you. Let's go for a couple of cat and cow movements. So begin to round the back by curling the tailbone towards the heels. Keep a little bend in the knees as you give a stretch into your back. Let the head fall forward. And then keep that little bend in the knees. You can lift your tailbone up and open your chest to look a little beyond the back of your chair. So with each exhale, you round and stretch into the back. Each inhale, open up through the chest, lift through the tailbone, looking towards the back of the seat. Just feel that flow at your own pace. If it feels more comfortable for you to exhale when I'm telling you to inhale, please do so. Good, and then once again, find more of a neutral spine. Rather than letting the tailbone lift up or curl down, let it be sort of pointing straight down from the head. Feel the head in line with the shoulders, lengthening through. 
through the neck. Then, as we press down into that left hand, keeping the weight into that left palm, bring the right arm up to the side. We're going to try to keep that right arm up at shoulder height as you bring the arm back along your side. And sweep the arm slowly up to the side and then as forward as it can go with comfort. So noticing this rotation of the shoulder as it's also moving wide and back and wide and forward. Noticing any tendency for the head to get heavy and hang below the shoulders. That's it, try to keep the chest broad. Feel the weight even through the feet and sharing the load with your left hand. We'll go for one more, nice and slow. So the next time the arm swings wide and forward, you can hold it there or rest it on the back of your chair while you stretch the left leg back. So with the left leg reaching to the wall that's behind you, feel and imagine your tailbone's length with your lifted leg. And then lengthen a little more through the neck and if you like, you can lift the right hand off the seat or the chair for another moment with your breath here, strong and steady, as best you can be. Good, and then rest and relax. Nice. So let's come back into a bit of a chair pose from here. We're going to sit the weight back towards the heels. Let the knees bend a little bit so the hips are moving back and down as, the, as though you have another chair behind you you're going to sit into. And then if you're feeling comfortable enough to bring the hands together here in front of the heart, let be here. Wide through the chest, feeling some space and length in the neck. And if it's feeling good enough in the shoulders and in the neck to raise the arms overhead, feel free or keep the hands on the chair for more support. Good, and then begin to push down through your feet and lift up slowly to standing. And we'll take the hands down together. Nice. So let's go for a bit of a sun salutation movement with the chair. So we'll stay in this orientation where the seat of the chair is in front of us. And stand here, palms together. So when you're ready, as you inhale, let's lift the arms, stretch up tall, looking up a little. And then again, as you exhale, let's bend the knees a little bit to move forward from the hips to take the hands to the seat. As you breathe in, let's slowly open up the chest with the tailbone to rid of that dog tilt action. And then with the exhale, round the back. Curling the tailbone down, letting the head fall forward. And then inhale, lifting the chest again to look at the back of your seat. Let's exhale the right foot back into a deep lunge. You might have to step that left foot a little further forward to feel strong and supported here. You got it. So reach long through your back leg. Heel doesn't have to be on the floor. Could be a little up, could be down. And noticing here a bit of length and space come into the front of your chest. The waist is long. Then you can even hold on to the chair uh, with your hands sort of gripping the seat so that when you come back, we're going to take it into downward dog. Left foot back. You might have to shift your feet around so as your hips lift up and back, your head can rest here between the arms. Let's pause into downward dog, noticing how it feels this morning. Relaxing and resting any tension in the neck and in the shoulders as best you can. Good. As you breathe in, let's come forward into a bit of a plank position here. So the legs stay where they are as you bring your upper body forward. That's it. Shoulders above the wrists, body in a long, straight diagonal line from head through your hips, stretching back through the heels. Nice. And then bend the knees again, come back into a downward dog. And then let's step the right foot forward into that lunge, right foot in front of the 
seat. Left foot back, that's it. Keeping that front knee bent, back leg strong and straight. Open the chest and look forward towards the back of your seat. Feel some space into the front of that left hip. All the way up through the belly, through the chest. And then again, let's step forward. Rest over the legs, feeling free to gently release down. Whether the hands want to be on the chair, forearms on the chair, or arms hanging in front of the seat. And then now let's find some strength in the legs. Push down through the feet. Let's lift the arms wide and come up. Tall to standing. Exhale as the hands come down through center. Let's try it with the left leg leading this time. So breathing in, letting the arms lift, stretching tall. Exhale, coming forward, resting the hands on the seat. As you inhale, roll the shoulders back, lift the chest into tail, down, or sorry, uh, dog tail. And then exhale, round the back through a cat tilt. Good, as you inhale, open up the chest again, slide the shoulders down the back, and let's step the left foot back into a lunge. Good. Reaching back through that left leg, feeling the front knee stay bent. Find another breath in. And let it out. Feel free to keep the palms flat on the chair. You can grip the seat of your chair for a little more support as you step back into downward dog again. Shift the feet as you need to, keeping them about hip distance apart. Keep a little bend in the knees so the hips can lift up and back. And the head can rest between the arms. That's it. Noticing some breath moving into the sides of your waist, the sides of your ribs, finding a little bit of space in those areas here. Now let's move forward into plank again. So you might have to shift the feet just the tiniest bit back so you can bring your upper body forward. Try to bring your hips in a straight line between the heels and the head. That's it. Pressing down gently through the seat. Find a little more lift through the belly, through the ribs. That's it. And then nice and slowly pivoting back into downward dog. And then when you're ready, step your left foot forward into that lunge. Press a little more into that left foot. Reach firmly back through the right. Opening up the chest here for another breath. Good. Step together and release forward over your legs to whatever feels best for you and your legs and your back today using the chair if you like. And then standing into the feet. Feel the support of the legs as you reach the arms wide and lift up tall. And exhale the hands as they come down through center. Nice. Okay, so let's step wide. And we're going to take the right foot underneath the seat and the left foot back a comfortable distance around maybe shoulder distance or wider. Okay, so you can determine how wide that is. Hmm. So let's have the... Um, right foot pretty much right underneath the seat. So take your foot as under the seat as you can and feel equal support through both of your legs. You might have to shift around and lift and spread the toes. Try to feel the support into both feet. And then let's even just activate a little through the legs. Let's just bring the hands to the hips and imagine the and feel where the feet connect into the floor, can you feel like your feet are actually pulling towards each other? That's it. So you're activating a little more into the inner thigh muscles. Good. As the feet push down, they also pull in towards each other. Really nice. Now let's go ahead and take both arms out wide to the sides. In fact, no, let's bring the hands to the hips to, be, to start. To those hip creases again, so not up here by the pelvic bones, but further down at those hip creases. And we're going to try to bend from there. So as you go to the uh, right with your upper body, that's it. Good. 
Try to let the hips shift a little to the left. And then push down into the feet, pull them towards each other as you lift yourself back upright. That's it, Linda. And then letting the hips go to the left, upper body a little to the right again. Finding that deep crease in the right hip. Pressing into the feet to bring you back up slowly. So let's move again, upper body to the right, hips to the left, you got it. <laughs> and then send this right arm out in line with the shoulder. Sorry, left arm is what I mean. And then left hand can rest on the seat. Sorry, right hand on the seat. Okay, so from here, let's go ahead and push down through the feet and lift this left arm straight up towards the ceiling, lift your upper body with it. And then coming back down, right hand to the chair. So push into the feet, lift your upper body, and keep that left arm stretching towards the ceiling. And then going down again. So pressing into the feet, lift your upper body, reach that left arm straight up, and then go down again to the right. That's it. So keep the arm where it is, basically, lifting towards the ceiling as your upper body comes down and up. That's it. Finding that flow of movement here through your hips, a little bit through the shoulder. Really nice. Good, and then coming back down, let's pause into this. You can bring the hand to the chair, or if the chair feels rather Far still, you can bring a block onto the seat of the chair as well. Feel free to send the left arm over the ear and feel some length through that whole left side, pushing more firmly into the left foot while you stretch away from it. Good, and then take this left arm along your side and see if you can even reach the arm a little bit back to the wall behind you, turning the palm to face the back. That's it, good. Getting a little bit more of an opening into the front of that left shoulder. And then find the support of the legs to bring you back up. To standing, releasing the arms. Whew. And then just take a moment to walk your feet together. Give the legs a little bit of a shake. And we'll take it to the other side so that the left foot is now underneath the chair. Right foot is back, maybe as much or a little wider than shoulder distance. Doing what's making you feel supported and stable through both of your feet. All right. So just bring your hands to your hips. Try to feel your belly and your chest facing a little bit away from your chair. And as you connect with the feet, Press down through the feet, but at the same time, pull the feet in towards each other and just notice how that engages the legs a little differently. Engaging a little more through the inner thighs. And keeping that support into the feet, let's find the movement just through the hips again. So the waist stays long, chest stays wide. As you lean your upper body to the right, hips, sorry, to the left, hips go to the right. And then come back up. <laughs> And over to the left, hips to the right. And moving like that. And as you're moving, keep it engaged through the legs. Pushing down through the feet, pulling them in towards each other. Especially on the way up. Pull the feet in to bring you up. That's it. And then let's take the arms out wide to the sides, coming down again. Good. So feel this right arm stretching above your shoulder, reach in more towards the ceiling. We're going to keep it lifting towards the ceiling as you push down through the feet and lift the upper body, keep the arm reaching up. And then coming down nice and slowly, maybe the hand brushes the chair, and then push into the feet, pull them together as you lift up. Coming down and moving up slowly with strength and support. Feeling a bit of a hug up and in through the belly each time you raise yourself, supporting yourself with your breath as well. Nice. Let's go for one last one. Pressing into the feet, pulling them in together as you raise up. 
and then coming down, hand to the chair. If the chair feels still a little far, feel free to bring a block under the hand instead. So feel and find some length into that right side by sweeping that right arm. If it feels comfortable in the shoulder, you can bring it over your ear at this point and push a little more into that right foot while you stretch long away from it. Pause and feel another breath. And then take that right arm down along your side, turning the thumb to face down, palm to face back. That's it. And then reach a little bit back a little more with the arm, trying your best to feel a little bit more of an opening gently into the front of that right shoulder. Breathing into that. Good, and then push into the feet, pull them in towards each other to bring yourself back up. Good, and then walk the feet in. Whew. A little bit of work there for the legs. Okay, nice. All right, so let's have a seat once again. And we'll just do a little bit of movement for the hips um, and lower body. And maybe we'll um, also coordinate that movement a little bit with the upper body. All right. So let's just begin with a simple marching movement, okay? So maybe let's bring one hand first onto the belly and the other hand onto the chest so that you're able to feel your chest and your belly stay long, stay wide, and relatively still while you raise the right knee and then lower that and then raise the left knee and lower that. So you're maintaining this length and stability in your spine in order to move just one leg at a time. So you can, might notice that as you raise one leg and then the other, that you have the tendency to dip in one direction with the upper body, or you might have the tendency to round your back and uh, sink your chest. So see if there's a way for you to Keep the upper body still. And it might mean smaller movements. So even if you can't lift the knee as high, that's a really good start. To find the movement more purely from your hips rather than your spine. That's it. Good. Now when you raise the right knee, let's pause and hold the right knee up. Find another breath there. Feel the movements into your hands your belly and chest. Good, and then let's see if we can swing from the knee. Stretching and bending. Stretching and bending. So don't feel like you have to go completely straight in your leg. Instead, just go to where it's a comfortable stretch for you. Waking up a little through the quads, the uh, front thigh muscles, and of course the hip flexor, you might feel it too. Good, just lubricating the knee joint. Let's do one more and hold the leg straight for a moment. See if we can take the arms out wide to the sides and pause and feel another breath. Really nice, and then let it go. <sighs> Find a little movement just to loosen up any tension that may have come in the spine and shoulders. So let's round the back in a nice cat tilt, bring the chin towards the chest. Get a good stretch into the back and then lengthen and lift the front body, shoulders back as the head lifts slightly. And go for that one more time. A gentle stretch, rounding. And a gentle lift through the front, arching slightly. And then come back into more of that neutral spine position. And then you can once again rest the hands uh, on your belly and chest. Feel free to do it the opposite way. And then, I know, and then lift the left knee again. And we're going to keep that left knee held, pausing, feeling the breath, maybe with each exhale, maybe lifting the knee slightly higher, just noticing how it feels here in your hip as we strengthen that hip flexor to lift the knee. 
And then you can try to stretch out through the leg and bend again at the knee. So now we're moving for the most part just at the knee, keeping the hip a little bit flexed while the knee stretches and bends. Good. A couple more here again. Just checking in with the rest of your body, your shoulders, your neck. Keeping the tension out of those areas as best you can. Good, let's go for one more with movement. And then the next time, stretch. See if you can hold that stretched leg. And let's for a moment take the arms out to the side. Let's find another breath. Really nice, let it go. Then let's loosen up into the hips. And yeah, just roll out and in. Knees out and in, you can even find a little movement into the feet here. Rolling in and out of the ankles as well. Okay, and then let's go for a bit of a stretch here uh, into the hips. So we'll hug the, uh, sorry, the right knee up. And while you've got the knee up, let's go for a little bit of movement into this ankle, yeah. So nice, slow, deliberate movement to circle into the ankle. Wiggle around through the toes. And then find circles in the other direction. And then let your foot relax and just see if you can hold on to the knee just with your right hand. Your left hand can rest on the other thigh. And then just circle more into the hip now. So feel this movement happening at your hip. You're not circling at the knee, but at the hip. So imagine you're drawing the circle with your knee. And then you can take the movement the opposite way. And again, it doesn't matter how big the circles are, you can even explore a couple different ranges of motion to get into different areas of your hip. Okay, and then let's go ahead and hug that knee up as high as you can with as little tension in the shoulders as possible. And then we're gonna to try to cross the ankle over the knee. Now, if crossing the ankle over the knee doesn't feel good in your hip, you can also cross the ankle over the ankle instead and just let that hip fall out a little bit, okay? So while we're here, let's start with a bit of a twist. We're gonna take the right hand to the chair, wherever it happens to land, on the seat or on the back, and then bring your left hand to your belly. Feel your head. Stay above your shoulders and notice another breath down into your belly. And as you exhale, feel yourself turn to the right, through the ribs, through the chest, shoulders, letting the head follow that twist to the right. And you can let that left hand rest on the opposite knee. And pause into the twist, feeling another breath or two here. And then as you breathe in, let's come back to face forward, keeping the legs crossed as you have them. See if you can feel like you're lifting up and over the pubic bone and then try to bring yourself forward just as far as the hip lets you. So you might notice some stretch coming into that hip or into uh, the uh, back of the thigh as well, the hamstrings, you might notice some stretch there. And of course, you might also feel the stretch in your back, so notice where you feel it and let the breath move there. Good, let your next inhale bring you back upright and we'll rest that foot back to the floor and find a little bit of movement again just to loosen into the hips. Good, and then let's hold on to the left knee while we've got hold of it relax the shoulders and just circle into the ankle. So here, try to really feel the movement through the ankle joint. Nice and slow, deliberate movements. Finding that full range of motion you have on this side. And then take it in the other direction. Feeling the toes move around as well. Good, and then rest and relax your foot as you take hold of the knee just with your left hand. 
So this way you can find a little more movement into your left hip. So each hip is quite different. So just you can try to notice how it feels on this side. And if it needs to be a smaller range of motion to keep it comfortable, go ahead. And then find the rotation the other way. That's it, trying to minimize any movement in the rest of your body while you find the movement in your hip. Good, and then bring the knee back to center. We can hold on and hug with both hands it up. So finding a nice deep fold there at the hip crease. And then crossing the ankle over the knee, if you can do so on this side, comfortably in the hip, or again, ankle over ankle, just allowing that knee to fall out a little bit to get into some stretch of the hip. So with the legs staying where they're most comfortable, go ahead and push down through the foot that's on the floor a little bit, standing into that foot to feel a sense of lift up the spine. And then with the left hand on the chair, beside or behind you, take your right hand to your belly. You want to imagine the twist starting from just above the navel. So rather than leading the twist with the head, starting the twist from the waist. Turning slowly to the left. And then the head will gently follow that twist, completing it. As you're here, you can rest your right hand on the knee and try to notice each breath. How does it move you while you remain in the twist? forward and again feel like you're lifting up and over the pubic bone just as though you're bringing your navel towards your legs and then just going as far as this hip lets you don't worry about how far forward or how far down you go go to where it's a comfortable sensation in your hips in your leg and in your back breathing through that sensation
Finding your head balanced again over your shoulders. And we can bring the backs of the hands to rest on the thighs and just allow the fingers to curl naturally. Resting and relaxing here through your shoulders once more. And as you close your eyes, notice how your body feels now at the end of your practice. Feel the weight of your body rest into the support of the chair, all the while maintaining a sense of length and space up through your spine. Feel the spaciousness of your belly and your chest. And notice the movements of your breath, moving easily now. Maybe with a little less effort, you can feel the breath flowing within. So stay present with the rhythm of your breath. Follow its movements as it comes into your body and as it flows out. As you continue to sit here, become aware of the breath, flowing in and out through the nose. And bring a little bit of movement into your fingers and into your toes. Open your eyes. Just lift the hands and the feet a little bit off the ground and the legs and go for circles and the ankles and the wrists and the other direction. And then rest your feet. Let's interlace the fingers together. Stretch the palms forward. Breathe in and lift. Stretch up. And with the exhale, release the arms. Bring the palms together in front of the heart. 